Okay, UFC 279. For lack of a better word, what a Gunny Google shit show. Um, obviously, to sort of recap, skirmish backstage at the uh, pre weigh in press conference. Um, Shemayev doesn't make weight. Conspiracy theories are out there, of course, in droves. Um, and really, I, I'm just happy that this card landed where it did. I think most people are. I think they could have kept Chimaev off it, but they made it work. Everybody's at least happy and probably paid royally for this. Um, but I will, without further ado, get into the picks for the new main events and um, lead up to the main event of the new UFC 279 card because the, the deck's been shuffled. It actually improved the card quite a bit, and actually now there's going to be less finishes and I think more decisions. So first we're going to dig into Li Jing Lang um, against Daniel Rodriguez. Um, I mean, I was initially looking at Kevin Holland in, as the victor in that initial fight between Rodriguez and Holland. Um, in most cases, I look for Holland in the, as the finish, but because Rodriguez is so durable, his box is so crisp, definitely um, had to t scale that back and think that Holland might win by decision. Um, so now we're looking at Lee, and I think uh, Lee's got power, but he's going to get hit. He's going to get touched, and, and when he's pressured, he, he's not necessarily the greatest nail. Um, and Daniel Rodriguez isn't going to go away. He's going to be bigger. Lee's just probably getting some good cash, some nice suits for this one. So uh, plus 130 dog, Lee Jing Lang, who's got the power to do it, against the minus 155 Daniel Rodriguez. Um, so if we look at the prop on this one, I like D-Rod by decision. Um, if you think you can get him out of there, Sure, I mean, that's a possibility. I doubt they're not going to, they're going to give you options for like a double down of decision and KO. Um, you're probably going to get really simple stuff. And what we got right now is um, Daniel by points is plus 145. Um, I mean, I could still go money line at minus 155 for Rodriguez, but I do like uh, Rodriguez by points. By KO, plus 325. If some of you see that, great. Um, but I think I definitely like, uh, you can even look at the over two and a half, goes to the decision. Uh, at minus 155, so sort of lined up with D-Rod's um, win condition. Next fight we will look at is the weight misser, the weight bully. Really, I don't know what happened, so I'm not going to really shit on anybody for it, but we have Kamzat Chmaev, or Hamzat Chmaev, I always say that on purpose to piss people off, um, against Kevin Holland. Holland said one thing, I want five rounds. It gives him his time um, to work a game plan, try to get the guy tired, and touch him, and Gilbert touched him. Um, so the line's not as wide. We have uh, Hamzat coming in at minus 550. Line's starting to get a little bit wider. Um, and we have Holland in at plus 390. I'm taking a shot at Holland on the dog. Um, with all the distractions, I got to believe that that can't be good for Chemayev. Harder uh, new opponent last minute. The weight miss. It's got to happen. So looking at plus 390 on Kevin Holland, you can just go dog if you like that angle or that side of things. Um, uh, but I'm going Holland side of things, definitely. Holland by KO, plus 700. I like it. So I'm going to sprinkle it. I think there's just so much going on. I think Holland lives in this kind of drama. I don't know if Hamzat does. He didn't look. He was off and on the scales quick at the ceremonial. It looked like he didn't want to be there. Getting a lot of booze. Dana, not really happy. So we shall see. Um, but plus 390, Kevin Holland, I'm in. Now we move to the main event. Now, this is really giving Diaz the send-off that, you know, he deserves, I think. Um, the guy is going to be able to come out last. He's going to come out to his music. He's going to walk, and the, the crowd's going to go crazy. Um, it's going to be a feel-good affair against Tony, and it's going to be a war for five rounds. Um, I really like Tony Ferguson, and so does Vegas. Uh, minus 125, the line's already starting to move um, very quick. Um but Diaz, actually, you know what? Some love might be coming in on Diaz. I think it's opened at plus 115, and some money's coming in right now on Diaz because um, now he's sitting at plus 105. So this is one of those bets that if you jump right now, Diaz, dog, plus 105, you might even be able to flip it and go on both sides of this fight. But I'm going to go, uh, I think Ferguson's going to cut him up real real early, real quick. We know there's scar tissue. We know that elbows from um, Ferguson is just going to be really early and really frequent. Um, it looks good in the judges' score uh, in the judges' eyes, and you know Greg Jackson's going to be all over that shit. So, um, yeah, man, I, I like Tony Ferguson in the main event. This is a win-win, no matter how it ends for Diaz now, instead of it looking like a, just a whatever it was going to be. Um, so, definitely, probably a plus for the UFC because all the commotions created probably an extra percentage, and, and 
pay-per-view buys now at this point because of all the craziness. Um, but we'll go back on this. So Tony Ferguson by decision I like. Um, his money line right now is minus 125. I don't hate that because who knows what could happen. But uh, Tony Ferguson by points is plus 150. Um, but yeah, man, I, I mean, I like it. I think there's there's options there for anybody depending on what way you lean. Those are the ways I'm going to lean. Don't tap. And this is not don't, don't tap over one and a half. We got that shit done already. This is don't tap over seven and a half. And if you don't like it, what we've got here is... Failure to communicate.